that one big television company, very successful as well, and uh, Border is now known as ITV Border. So there we go. But these companies were very, very good for the local economies. Scottish television is, um, I think, part of the network, but not owned um, wholly by ITV. So they are. So it's rather good. They've kept uh, a bit of independence there. Fantastic stuff. So that's what was going on there, Ethan. Yes, absolutely. And you will see behind me there, there's the dog's graduation, and I attended. Fantastic. Lovely, lovely. Right, let's uh, let's just see what else is happening here, guys. Tell 10, tell 10, tell 10. If everybody can share, that would be brilliant. Share, share, share it to share, and uh, let everybody know what's happening. I was very chuffed about J-Dog, one of our regular viewers and contributors, on the golf course this morning. Absolutely amazing. Right. I'm just going to uh, pop this over here, showing here. <laughs> I love that. I think I've told you before, but I went to an auction house and they showed everything. You had porters with white aprons at the front. And if it was a piece of art, they would say, now we're looking at the Renoir, showing here. And these guys would hold it up for the whole sale room to see it, you know, fantastic. And that was that. And because uh, sometimes for an item, I mean, obviously, had it been a Renoir, it would have been well-known, well-documented. Everybody that wanted to buy it would have had a good look and uh, put a value on it of what they were willing to pay, to, to pay plus one bid. The best advice I ever got when going to auctions is set yourself a limit. Do not go above that limit except for one bid. I don't know if that's good advice or not. Maybe some of the antique dealers watching will be able to tell us if that was good advice. So they are not to So that's what happened. And Border Television was situated in Carlisle. And um, in Carlisle, and I think that uh, people used to say it should have actually been in Edinburgh. It would have been good, but Scottish television had uh, studios in Edinburgh, the Gateway Theatre, the Gateway Studios. Fantastic stuff. Now, I'm just going, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to take all of this, yeah, and pop this on. This is fantastic. Oh, my goodness me. So I'm going to do all of that. And I'm going to pop this back. There we go. And uh, let everybody know what's what. So there we are. Feel free to share. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Maybe a wee bit early in the morning for a lot of people, but that's fine. Yesterday we were half past 11. And uh, got a fabulous turnout because it was half past 11. But it doesn't matter because people can watch and catch up. And Scotty McLean's YouTube channel is absolutely mobbed at the moment. Absolutely mobbed. But not everybody watches live stream when they are going out live for some reason. I find that very strange. Uh, if I was on a YouTube channel, I would think, oh, it's going out live. Better watch that. At the moment, we've got 4,400 people are browsing Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. What about that then? That's amazing. 4,400 people. But see, getting them all to subscribe. Oh, you know, and that's why, as I say, I tell them that subscribing is absolutely free. Subscribing is absolutely free. Wonderful. So I'll take that off. See how we're doing. How does that look? Yep, absolutely fine. That's gone there. Good. And we can see what is what. Now, if you've got a Reddit account, then Scotty underscore McClue. If you've got a Twitter account, at Scotty McClue. If you've got a TikTok account, at Scotty McClue. If you've got an Instagram account, then Scotty McClue won. Fantastic. There you are. So that's you up to date. Now, what shall we do here? 
Um, so that's what happened there, Numpty Head. That's you at the at the chit chat. <laughs>